morning, good evening, good afternoon. I'm The Gentleman and welcome to another episode of The Gentleman's Pixel Club. I cannot believe I'm playing this game. I truly cannot believe I'm playing this game. Historically, on the channel, we haven't done many fighting games. Recently, we did a fighting game with Marvel characters and it was really, really very good. And then it turns out there seems to be this sequel as well by Capcom, which is Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter. I said during the original game that I did, you know, it might be a disservice to Street Fighter, but this feels like a Street Fighter game when I was playing the Marvel one. And then we have this mix. So we're playing this recreated on the Mr. FPGA. And as before, this is on a call by a gentleman called Joe Tago that does some brilliant, brilliant, fantastic work. And he has a Patreon that when I publicize this video, I, I do this on Twitter as well, feel free to click on the link, follow it along. If you're not familiar with his work, great work. And you know he does it all for free, but if you've got a bit of coinage that you want to spare, then you know chuck it across to him. This is just great work. I'm cycling through all these enemies here to have a look. And what actually happened was a black heart got selected for me automatically because I took too long. So I then selected Spider-Man and we've picked basically easy mode and normal speed. And the rules for this is we're going to fight and we're going to fight our way through these characters as we did in the previous fighting game. And it seems we have a tag team now. So however far we get will be as far as we get on this particular playthrough. And then when this particular tag team loses, we're then going to select the pair of fighters that beat us and we're going to go on a journey with them to see how they do. Immediate impressions when I first fired this up was gameplay felt very similar, but it was a bit unfortunate because I was starting off with this large character here at the moment who is getting his butt pummeled by the green bit of slime that he's fighting, the green tentacled thing. And apologies, you know, I don't get all their names right. I'm not familiar with every single Marvel character that there is. You know, and these are a bit of the unknown ones to me, especially when you look back and you think, well, you know, this came out in the mid 90s, I think it was. And we've had the Marvel Universe that's been a fantastic universe with all the great films and everything. But they have been a bit picky about the characters they use. So you have some of the lesser known characters that you just don't know about. So they've done something that I don't know how to do there, which is swap character and, you know, got myself completely beaten. So Blackheart got himself wiped out there. So we now have to get Spider-Man to do the job. And Spider-Man is a lot more able with his web so far than in the previous game. I don't recall I could do that particular move where you hit them with the, the web and then you can spin them around and throw them around. So I'm thinking here, as he's so nimble, as he's so good, that this is going to be a journey where, you know, I can just beat him. Yeah, I can beat everybody quite easy. But, you know, we're going to have to see how this plays out. So Blackheart and Spider-Man 1, which means that we now go on to another two characters that we're going to see here in a moment. Just wait for them to turn up. And we have... Chin Lu and Wolverine. Now, on the rare times that I've picked Street Fighter to play prior to doing this, Chin Lu was a character that I would use quite a bit because she had one move that I could pull off every single time, which was the power kick. It was probably one of the easiest moves to do in the game as well. So doing that, I would have picked her automatically. Um, so I think that if we get beaten by these two characters, then I stand a character that I can control, but they have this, I mean, look at that, 20 hits, and, you know, my guy is almost slaughtered there, but they have this ability to tag team to swap themselves out, and, you know, I don't know the combination to do this, you know, I can't find the combination to do this, and we're just playing this through, and this was actually my first playthrough, but thoroughly enjoying what I'm doing, thoroughly enjoying this game, the large guy, Blackheart, is a bit more clunky to use than what I remembered from before, but Spider-Man more than made up for this, the way that he could swing around and do everything. Although Blackheart has again got himself beaten up. So this is okay, we've got Spider-Man and you know he's avoided the big attack because there was an animated scene there. So hopefully just a couple of hits and that he'll just have one more enemy to fight with. But you know he's, he seems to be getting his butt quite, quite, kicked quite badly there again. And look at that, 18 hits this time, at least it wasn't 20 hits. And now we swap out to Wolverine. So 
I'm dancing around, you know, swinging around trying to avoid everything here, jumping, jumping to avoid his attacks, but he keeps taking a little piece of me. I've got no one to swap to, and even if I could swap Spider-Man to Blackheart, I just don't know how to do this. But I think I'm in with a chance of beating Wolverine. Look at this, I'm getting him really low now, so swing him around, throw him to the ground, one more good hit, and he is mine. So swing away, jump. And did he get me? Yes, he got me. So, game over. Wolverine, Chin Lu. I will be picking both of you next. And we're going to have a one more go through this to see whether you are a better powered combination than getting it further in the game than what I got. So that's hitting me. That's hitting the, the, the start button very quickly to move through that. We're going to put the initials in for the GPC. But... Yeah, the, the, this week that I've been playing these videos, this week that I've been doing these, and it may be a, a bit longer than a week since you see this come out, because they're kind of recording in batches, done in batches, um, don't all come out at the same time, you know, there's a daily release. My head has been turned for fighting games. If we want to look at me historically on fighting games, it was pick up Street Fighter once in a while, play Chin Lu, play very badly with it. On the spectrum, the fighting games that I suppose I would play would be... The, the way of the exploding fist but that's very hard to call it a fighting game because there was a move that you could pretty much do straight away which is a flying drop kick that I seem to recall and you would generally take out your opponent very quickly every time I will give this a go though on the spectrum at some point in the future I played International Karate Plus on the Amiga but that, that, that was a fun game but that was a fun game because of all the silly animations you could do and everything so here we are Wolverine kicking Chin Lu but we also have a different version of Chin Lu as well and I hope that's how you pronounce her name and this other guy I, I've got no idea what this character is supposed to be he must be somewhere in the Street Fighter series that I've never heard of you know I don't recall of a gentleman dressed in black very well suntanned with flaming red hair so you know he's giving me a bit of a run for my money so I'm going to spam the buttons and I am spamming the buttons to you know see what we can achieve to just wipe him down a little bit and it's looking good. It's looking like it's going to be game over for him in a moment. He hasn't swapped back to Chin Lu, which is great. So we get the knockout blow in a moment. And there he goes. So we've now got Chin Lu back, the red version of her, who immediately does three wonderful kicks and hits me straight away. And the computer opponent opponents in this, you know, that they should be, in my opinion, because I'm so crap at these games, just a little bit easier. On the first level but i forget i forget because i play this at home i'm actually playing an arcade game here and an arcade game its whole job is to take money from you so she's done a, a brilliant 10 hit wiped me out so it's chin lu versus chin lu blue versus red who do we think is going to win well it was blue because she had been knocked down so much so we're going to move on to the next round and we're going to have characters that no doubt i won't know who they are but I'll give it the best fight. I'll do the best that I can here. So we've got Hulk and we've got Saku from um, Street Fighter. Not familiar with that character either. Which again shows what pedigree I have on these games where there's a lot of characters that I don't know. Now, Hulk is a typical large character. And yeah, I believe when I played him on the Marvel game that I recently did, I had some goes on it afterwards as well. Using him... You know, he was very slow, he was very cumbersome, but when he hit, he hit with a lot of damage. But using Wolverine here, you know, I thought that I was going to go all the way through him. You know, look at his health all the way down. But he seems to be catching up. He seems to be catching up a hell of a lot. But it's nearly over. And yep, he, oh, I thought he took me out with that punch. Somehow I survived that. So the Hulk is down, but look at that little edge of life I've got left. You know, this doesn't bode well. For the rest of the game so i've now got two characters who have got pretty much full health to fight against to try and beat you know i this, this is probably not going to happen here so chin lu is jumping around you know achieving absolutely nothing and you know my health is dropping another power with 10 hits and i need to learn how to do some of these moves and it's almost game over, you know, you can see, you can see, you know, what I'm one hit away from being killed here. And there we are. Knocked out. So, 
Did I enjoy this game, Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter? Yes, I absolutely did. You know, this is a game that I will be picking up, I will be playing the game, and I need to continue to look at these fighting games, but I need to practice in my spare time to be better. So I'll get a chance to put my high score in at the moment, and you know, for me it's a miracle that I'm putting in any high scores for the games. But again, Jotago, thank you for your brilliant work on this core, on the Mr. FPGA. You will have a link to your Patreon on the Twitter. As always, please continue the great work. Everybody else, thank you for following along, and I will see you next time. Goodbye. Would you like to play again? Hello there, just me. If you're a subscriber to this channel, thank you very much. If you're not a subscriber, then Merlin here would be delighted if you would consider subscribing. It would make him happy, it would make me happy. And if Merlin's happy, then everybody is happy. Thank you very much. Stay safe. Take care. Goodbye.